what is up guys welcome back to another episode so this video is gonna be from a request i got on one of the facebook groups on how i take the pictures uh so first i like going to f2 taking another plane i think this would be a good plane to shoot just because you see the reflection all the metallic look on there it's really nice anyways first thing i do is zoom out and then right control and the multiplication button <laughs> the x button however you want to look at it on the number pad and you get as close as you want right so the closer you get the more the zoom is on the background you gotta be careful how much you zoom in and here the movements are very sensitive so the more you zoom in the more sensitive the 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 track ir the movement the mouse is so be careful on how you move it around to see from here you just use your wheel on the mouse to kind of like get to where you want it and then i use track ir to kind of get the shot that i want and I do my first snapshot. I do it through NVIDIA. Um, I think right now you can get do a screenshot on the uh, through DCS directly, and then it'll pump it out as JPEG, PNG, or something. So let I me mean, get the afterburner going. For some reason I don't think it's taking pictures. Let me take a look on my folder. Let's see. Yep, it is taking the pictures. So this is what we got. First one, second one. Perfect. So that means so from this point, what I do is, now I start flying the plane and see where the light hits it the best. See how we can make it look, it's, but see how the wings are just out of the frame. So, try and get it. Let's see and each movement is going to be a little bit differently because the sun the lighting hits it in its own way as you see right there i'm just snapshotting uh, let's see i think that's a good picture I can do that. And let's change it up. So I know the terrain that we're in, right? So I want to change it to, let's see where could we and this is where it gets a little bit tricky because now you gotta fly whoa, whoa, whoa that's right this plane has an issue with oh my god we saved it <laughs> can't go too fast that's fine we can go slow here totally fine 
because what we're looking for is a good shot so with that being said we gotta be quick on this quick on the trigger Click on the trigger. Uh, I don't think. See? <laughs> All right. We're going to change it up to another plane. Another beautiful one. Ooh. Interesting colors. Work the trim out. So this is a good map. Because... We can probably do something like this. Let's see. Let's. Come on. Got a helicopter flying by. Let's see if we can do it because I know this is coming but it might not be in frame So we got something. You notice the plane in the background when you zoom in. All right, so this the sunlight's giving it a nice glow. So what I'm gonna do is this right here. Get it ready, get the shot ready. <laughs> you just look around see what what works based on the lighting so I see that's coming There's that. <clears throat> and let's take a shot right here. Oh shit. It's a little tricky when you start when you don't want to look away. Let's make sure. case scenario if you want to do 
a little more scenic. Oh, we got that. Oh, 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 blacked out. I have an idea. Oh. And right around here. Pause it. So what we're going to do. Frame is paused. Uh, tch -tch. Let's see, how can we make this look good? Let's zoom in. We already got zoomed in. Let's see. It's hard when you zoom it in like that, right? But let's zoom all the way out. Let's see if we can get. Some dimension here, let's see. Hmm. You get like a super wide angle. And then just move your track IR just to get those better angle shots. So let's give this a shot. I think so. Alrighty. So it seems like we got a few good shots. Mm. Nah. Well, we can do one more. Do one more. And I always love doing this one. I'll show you. Let's see how this plays out. I love close to the water shots. But what we're going to do, since we're just messing around, Let's see if we can do it. <laughs> I've done it before, but not on this plane. There we go. We paused it right there. Look at that. Right in between. So let's zoom out. Nice little shot. Let's see. What looks better? Snap that shot right there. Hmm. I figured the lighting would be would have been better, but hey, it is what it is. 
Let's see what works. I'll take that. Alrighty. Alrighty, so probably the moment you've been waiting for the editing process. I do very simple edits. I go into Lightroom. Um, if you don't have Lightroom, I think it's $10 a month to get it. Um, or you can buy the whole suite. I don't know how much it costs, but I've been using this for years because I've been, I'm a photographer on the side, but anyways. Um, so anyways, Lightroom or anything close to it, uh, you can use Photoshop as well. I'm just not the best at Photoshop. Um, I've been using Lightroom more. So we're going to pick our first shot. And this is very, very, very simple stuff that I do. So if you go on the panel to the right, first thing I do is hit auto. Give it that auto look. And then from here, I tweak it. I give it a little bit more contrast because I like contrasty images. And then the texture, I add a little bit and a little bit of clarity. That is it. From here, I like dropping the highlights, but it all depends on the image, though. Right now, the highlights don't bother me as much. Um, you can go hard on the vibrance, on the vibrance and saturation. I don't, you know. I give it a little bit, just a tad. Now, here's the the one I've been doing more of. I go on the left side. These presets. I think these are just stock with um, Lightroom now. Before they weren't. But adaptive sky. So here I go and check and see what we got. We got blue drama, dark drama, neon, storm clouds, sunrise, and sunset. So it's all depending on how these adjust the image for me. And then the one adaptive subject is just at a seam. So you can see the subject. It gives it a little pop or not. And then it's a warm look to it. Soft. We got cool, soft, vibrant, and glow. So you see the differences right there, how they just pop it out. In this case, I like the image how it is. And you can go crazier or not. Really depends on you. Um, let's see another one. So auto, see how the difference right there made. I dropped the highlights, bring the contrast a little bit. You see the blacks. Maybe blacks a little bit more on this scenario. I like a texture. See if you go too soft or too harsh. It's just too much, right? So I just give it a little bit. It's just the clarity. You can go like this or super, super clarity. But again, just a little bit. Just a tad bit. From here, blue drama, let's see what that does. See how the sky changes a little bit? So I gave it that blue in there. I like that. Dark, meh. Stormy clouds, mm. sunrise, sunset, blue drama it is, and a warm pop or a regular pop. So we're going to give it a regular pop. And I like that image like that. Let's go on to the next one. You see how it, it, this is just rinse, repeat, contrasty textures, clarities, black. Let's bring the black down a little bit and let's see the skies. Blue drama it is. And then warm. So anyways. That's how I edit them. That's what I do. Let's do this one real quick.
black point just a little bit uh highlights let's bring the highlights down a little bit I don't know how I feel about it, but let me see. I can go here and adjust the blue how I feel. The reds, you can jack them up, but I think that's a good one. That's too blue, obviously too green. So, yeah. Let's see. I like that one. Let's see what we got. Just a little bit, a little bit. See, in that one, oh. I think storm clouds might be the one. Hmm. I'm gonna go with that with the warm pop. Gives it a little bit of yellow, sun's hitting it. And you can go with regular pop, right? But I feel like the warm gives it a little bit more realistic uh realistic look to it. So anywho, there it is. Um, aside from that, I don't do any Photoshop, but maybe in the future I might. So I hope that helps. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next time. Peace.